Now, if you watched the previous video, we took this truck, the Ranchero, all the way over to Beamish for the end of season show. On the way there, it was playing up a little bit. There was a bit of a vibration. It didn't seem to be driving right. And on the way back, it was a little bit dodgy as well. So I'm gonna do a couple of basic checks today, really just to see if it was just with the road it was on, the road surface it was traveling on, or if there is actually something wrong with the car. So we're just gonna start by checking all the fluids. Welcome back to the channel. All right, so we'll start with checking the oil because that one gets checked cold. as you can see it's uh it's down a bit in oil as to where it should be try that again make sure it's uh given the right level all right so should be up to there so there's not an awful lot missing so we definitely need to put a little bit of oil in. Now everything else needs to be checked when it's hot. So there's literally only the power steering fluid and the transmission fluid. So we'll get it fired up and we'll check those. Now we're pretty much up the temperature. So I don't want to take it out in case there is an issue. Just run through the normal process for checking transmission fluid. Now I have shown you this before, but quickly just to go over it, start off in park, the engine running um, and up the temperature and then Put on the brake firmly in reverse. Just for a few seconds. Down in neutral. Again for a few seconds. And then the same all the way down the gearbox. So in the drive. In the second. Down into first, and then back up through the gears or through the transmission. And then back into park. Now, when you take your foot off the brake, it will roll back a little bit. Now you've got to check the transmission fluid with the engine idling when it's warmed up. So it's warmed up, the fluid has been pumped all the way through the gearbox now, we'll run through the gears, so we'll get under the bonnet, check the fluid. Now as you can see on the transmission dipstick, the fluid's right up to where it should be. If anything, it's a little over full. I'm not going to worry too much about that. So there's definitely enough fluid in the gearbox. And there's enough fluid in the power steering pump as well so neither of those two appear to be leaking so i can only put it down to being the road surface possibly something to do with the tires i think the date coded um, 2016. for now though thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one bye for now